today's video. Um, yeah, as you can see, maybe I don't know, sure, but there were some windows. It's really dark outside, so this is not because it's late in the evening, it's because they have changed from summertime to wintertime, which is so annoying. I hate winter, it's cold, dark. Yeah, I miss summer already. But anyway, today's topic is this little bastard here. It's the GoPro Hero 7 Black. Um, I've chosen this topic because I think it's a great tool or great camera for mobile video creators like us because it has a huge variety of things you can do with it. You can do cinematic shots, so slow motions, action shots, whatever you like to do, you just have to be creative. And this is why I love this camera. So have fun with this kind of review. So the first point I want to talk about is the build quality. It's pretty much the same build quality like the GoPro Hero 5 and 6. It's made out of this rubber plastic body um, which is quite solid and protects it if you drop it or somehow like this. So the normal action camera use. And it's waterproof up to 10 meters which is 30 feet, something like that. And it has the same lens cover change feature like the Hero 5 and Hero 6. So you just can turn the lens cover, dismount it and change it. So if you, if you scratch it or damage it in any way, you'll be able to replace it very cheap, which is great. So you don't have to change the whole camera. The next point is the image quality. You are able to shoot 4K with 60 frames per second in the H.265 codec with about 80 megabits per second, which is doesn't sound like much, but as I said, it's in the H.265 codec, which means it has about 50% uh, more data than the H.264 codec. So it has very good quality for such a small camera and definitely enough, especially if you want to use it for YouTube because YouTube codec is bad. <laughs> it has so, so bad bit rates, so, so you, you shouldn't care about it. You are also able to shoot awesome slow motions in 1080p with 240 frames per second, which means a 8 time slow motion in 30 frames per second, if you want to render the video in 30 frames per second. But there's also a negative point I want to mention. The GoPro doesn't have a real lock profile, so like S-Lock or D-Lock or whatever it's called. It just has a so-called flat profile, which isn't really flat profile because it's not saving much more data. It's just like reducing the colors and so on. If the feature which divides it the most from the GoPro Hero 5 and 6 is the so-called hyper-smooth mode. So you are able to shoot uh, 4K and 60 frames per second with a digital image stabilization called HyperSmooth. And I can tell you it works. You are able to run and the image looks like nearly like if you use a gimbal. So it's definitely smooth. And it's worth the upgrade from the Hero 5 or 6 to the 7. The battery itself is the same battery than in the Hero 5 and Hero uh, 6. It's still a small battery, so uh, it doesn't last long, about 45 minutes if you want to shoot in 4K. But you're able to change it, which is good. Or what I would recommend, just um, buy a power bank, or you probably have already one, and charge your camera while it's in your backpack. Yeah. The next thing is the operation of the GoPro. It's done by a touch screen as in the Hero 5 and 6. Um, I think the, they changed a bit. Uh, it's really smooth now. You can change the settings really easily. But there's just one negative point. If you're already filming like the half an hour of the GoPro, and it's really hot and it's getting hot definitely. Um, it's a bit laggy, so I think the processor reduces its speed, so to save some battery power and reduce the heat. 
and you can see it in the uh, yeah in the operation because it's laggy. So this was my quick review of the GoPro Hero 7 Black. Yeah, it's 7 Black. <laughs> uh, too much GoPros already. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have enjoyed it, give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. And see you next time guys, bye!